If any of you have followed the fracking debate, you may be familiar with newspaper reports that a couple of earthquakes happened in Lancashire, uh, near the fracking site which was set up there. And this is not necessarily true because there's actually been a hell of a lot of earthquakes in that area due to the fracking. And if you have a look at the uh, British Geological Survey, whose website is earthquakes.bgs.ac.uk, they have a recent British earthquakes section. And if you look down through this, you'll see Blackpool, Lancashire, and the frequencies of these all happening in October and November. And you can just scroll down and you can see earthquake after earthquake after earthquake after earthquake and look at the dates here so you've got everything going you've everything going from the 18th of the 10th 18th 19th 20th you know 21st 24th 25th 26th 27th 29th 30th 1st of the 11th 2nd of the 11th and so on um, up to the point where I believe there's actually been a stop placed now on the fracking because it's been going on for so long but when you see it like this it doesn't always resonate but when you see it like this you see that of course there are earthquakes which are just random earthquakes which happen around but look at this area up here near Blackpool have a little look at this because it's amazing just how many earthquakes there have been and what's more interesting is look at where they are look at all of the distribution and where these earthquakes have taken place now some you know like that uh, some of them there are multiple earthquakes on on one day so i'll try and find one of those for you there we are like two in one day and there are some where there's like you know two in one day and five in one day and things like this so that there's a hell of a lot that aren't even being represented by these number of spots here but each one of these say for instance like this one here you know, it tells you that it was Wednesday, the 24th of October at one o'clock in the afternoon. OK, so what have, what's all this got to do with fracking? Well, it might have something to do with this here. This is the frack pad. This is where they're fracking. And as you can see, here's a close up. You know, that's the actual fracking tower there which is boring under the ground. You can see the shadow coming off to the side. And look how close, look how close you just happen to have all of these earthquakes. Now, is there any coincidence in this? Hmm, I wonder. But the, po the problem is that these minor earthquakes are actually damaging people's houses. They're cracking the walls in people's houses. And it's basically making any houses in this area worth nothing. It's taken the value away from these houses in order to supply gas to a greedy gas company which is 50% owned by Australia. So is this money going back into the UK economy and helping the UK people? No. Is this money going back to helping these people that live in this area? No. So this is just merely a land grab and a gas grab which has been green lighted by the UK and it is causing damage. This is the proof. You can see it here. There it is. There's the frac site. Here's the earthquakes. So which direction do you think they're actually uh, uh, sending their bores? I would guess it was in this direction, wouldn't you? I would guess it was sending them in this direction, actually going towards where? Blackpool. So they're actually fracking from there, going in this direction, and they're fracking towards Blackpool. And if they get any further, what's going to happen is, people who live around this area, all their houses are going to be devalued too, because they're going to be cracking open. And they won't be able to sell these houses because of the devaluation due to the fracking. So is this acceptable? I say not. Thanks very much for watching.